Hi. Are we going? Hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm Christopher Hopkins, the makeover guy. And I'm Joanne Hopkins, the wardrobe woman. And it is Mother's Day weekend, so we thought that yes. might be something we would speak about. What did you have in mind, Miss Hopkins? Well, I have a few things, but I have a, a, an article that you wrote for the Minneapolis Star and Tribune way back. What year was that? I sent something to, when I was at Saint, my freshman year at St. Olaf, 1983, I, I must have written this little thing and sent it to the paper. You and did, what, and like, I would... I didn't, and they printed it, and then... Did you, you were surprised to find it, I'm guessing. Well, of course. How, do you remember how you saw it? I don't think I told I, you. I don't remember now. I don't remember. I cried, of course, but kind of I don't remember. I do remember that um, one of the, the Pises in their church he read it to the congregation, oh, really? and then they said, well, that's my cousin, or whatever we were. Wow. Well, and I also forgot this morning, I wanted to bring that poem you had written for me. Which one? The one about... Um, All the lovelies of spring? Yes. And I forgot it this morning. He wrote See, a lovely... See, I can't even say it. You, you're not going to be able to uh, no. read this. No, that's why you're going to read it. I'm going to read All, it. Uh, my, all the love... Yeah, I can't... Upon you. All the something of summer. Is around you? Is within you all the joy of winter. I can't remember how it goes now, but I have it on my wall at home and I read it quite often. Why well, can't I? You should do is kind of compose yourselves a little bit and let's get a few more people in. So oh. Oh, okay. Well, okay. If, is anyone watching? No, I just can't. I just can't do those things, Mom. You know I, I can't. I know. I know. My tender heart. All the loveliness of spring is within you. All the beauty of summer is something, all the something of fall, fall. Is, is around you. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember the joy of winter is something about you. I don't know. Anyway, I was probably it was like beautiful. in fifth grade. It was beautiful. And he did write it. And uh, I do have it in a frame oh, it, at you, home. The thing I wrote like with my handwriting and yeah. then you put it in a frame that could have been prettier than that. It's, you know, with a pencil. Yeah. I tried really hard. Oh, I can oh, tell. Oh. Uh, well, I could tell that, and of course, I just did. Wept. I do designs or something. I probably I, did little I things don't think like you did too it, much. To I don't think you did too and much. And then I, I was going to bring um, that one about. I must have been about four or five. No, five or six. Uh, I love my. I love my mom, the smell of my mommy's cheeks. Something makes me squeak. I don't have that. No, I, well, I have it somewhere. I, or I printed it. You know, it's all in crayon handwriting. Well, and then, why didn't and you I drew bring an outfit it? like that's my mom with the hair. Maybe I was five. Well, I want it. Well, you, you, you gave don't it to need me. To have it. Well, what are well, you Why do did with I this? give it to you? Well, so you gave me all those things. Anyway, so anyway, we're we're going off about Mother's Day, and um, I haven't seen you since last week. So now you know Betty Darrell died. You know all I'm that. I'm so stuff. sorry to hear that. But this is what was written when I, I don't know what. Well, I was a freshman at St. Olaf, so it would have would have been 1983. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I must have decided you can send this to the paper, to the cities, to the Star Tribune, and they printed it. So you can read it, Mom. Should I read it now? Yeah, just read or it. Or should I read it a little later? <sighs> okay. This was in the paper. It says, she let him, I, what makes you think I can get through well, this? Well, if you can't, if you, she if let you can't, him go, then I'll be in charge. Okay. She let him let go of him graciously, and he'll never let go of the thanks, Christopher Hopkins. The soothe, soothingly sings, she so I'm sorry, she soothe, soothingly, <laughs> bleh, bleh, bleh. she soothingly, soothingly sings. That's hard. It is hard. All right, cut, cut. redo. She so soothingly sings soft lullabies to her newborn son and gently rocks him to sleep. She takes him to the bus stop, his first day of school, holding back the tears. That's very true. She hastily searches for fallen leaves. He just remembered his collection was due today. She assures him he will soon grow tall, always worried that he was never going to grow any taller. When will I have my growth spurt? When will you have your growth spurt? And what are you now? Well, six, six four. four. Okay. She assures him he will soon grow tall. 
She assures him that six foot four is really not too tall. She proudly watches him accept his high school diploma filled with emotion. She quietly cries as she leaves her only son to begin his own life at college. And finally, gradually accepts it and lets him go. This is my mom, and there's none quite like her. Although I know by letting me go we'll never be exactly the same to each other, I also know upon returning from school she has become not only mother, but mother and friend, and I love her all the more. Thank you, Mom. Right? Yes. And then I you forgot what a bitch she is, and then I didn't put that part in. <laughs> <laughs> Can be. <laughs> Can't I, I had to do it. I had to do it. I know. I knew you were going to do I something. Well, otherwise, I would. I would be too emotional, and I, I, that's my sense of humor. It's a backhanded thing after a compliment. It's just the way. I, that's the way I roll. It's breaking the ice. Right. Anyway. Yeah. So break they, it a little more uh, gently. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've told you that, Mom. Sure I do. I've told you that. Now what's, what's that this? one? I don't know. But go ahead. You were going to talk about, so we were talking about Mother's Day and, and the things, and I was, I was remembering, I guess, how, of course, we always got our moms a corsage for church. Oh. And you know, I, was, I always thought for sure Lucille Wetmore was loved more than any other mother in church because she always had the biggest corsage ever. I just couldn't believe it. It was gorgeous. And I, they were bigger, like in the 40s, right? You oh, know. I mean, it was, you know, it took up the whole, half the breast, covered her breast. And so I went, I remember, do you remember when I went, maybe it was fifth grade, I can't remember, but I went up to the floral shop and I said, uh, I want two yellow sweetheart roses and two pink sweetheart roses for Michelle and me. And so I was so excited to pick that thing up and it was this big. <laughs> oh! I didn't know sweetheart roses were tiny. Oh! <laughs> and you said, it's lovely, it's very, you know, it was a little tiny. You know, I'm sure it was beautiful and I loved it. Probably four dollars or something. You know. Doesn't matter. It was I, I very special. <laughs> the one thing I do remember, and I don't know if you knew this or not, but at that time, usually if your mother was had passed on, you would get it, for instance, if my mother had passed on, my corsage would only be white. But oh. if she was still living, there could be color. Oh. That's... That was a tradition. Kind of at that time, anyway. And you know, this mother, uh, Mother's Day tradition started way back in like 1914, maybe 1918, whenever Woodrow Wilson oh. was there. You did some research. Well, I did look because I was surprised, um, but he decided it was time to honor mothers. And I think after he initiated that thought, it was a couple years before they really started using it. Now it's all over the world, really, Mother's Day, okay. which is very nice, oh, I yes. think. And when did Father's Day come after? Was it at the same time? Or? I don't know about Father's Day. I only looked about the mothers. Okay. Well, I don't, I don't either. Don't expect too I, I just much. know that I think you got flowers for Grandma. I got flowers for you. We yes, went to church. Yes. There was something special. You know, I'm trying to think of the gifts I gave you over the years. So many oh, good things. I can't remember either, but I know things you made in school. I still have a couple of them. And things Michelle made in school, I still Kayla, have. Kayla, just get rid of them. It's not worth it. Just it's, photocopy it's, them. It's worth having them, Kayla. I still have the bracelet Michelle made me. Oh, mother. Well, that's well, it's nice. special. It's nice. You're not a mother, so what do you know? It's true. It's true. <laughs> I, 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 well, a little bit. A little bit to Kayla. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, also last night I was trying to think. Now, what could I bring to show? And I wanted to show this picture. I hope you can see it without glare. Probably. I can zoom oh, that, that, no, that's good. Don't, don't, zoom. Don't, don't zoom. It's okay. Well, you you get the general idea. This is my grandmother, my uh -oh. mother's mother, and she was a milliner, or maybe it's milliner-iss, I'm not sure. I looked it up, it's milliner. Milliner, she made hats, and this hat happened to be one she made, and I didn't know this because I had never taken the picture out of the frame until yesterday. I decided maybe I should clean the glass. This actually is a postcard. And on the oh. back, in Grandma's handwriting, it said, it. "Don't take it out. You got to have a Phillips oh, okay. screwdriver." Right. 
-huh. Anyway, she said, I finally had my photograph taken. She is sending this to Mr. Fickus, her oh. first husband. But he wasn't her husband yet at that yeah, time. So, Mr. so this Fickus, was, they were just dating. Yes. So she sent this picture to him. She said, it's not very good. It's kind of dark, but I thought you might like one. With my love, Minnie M. And this is 1910. I thought that, I, isn't that funny? I never took that out of the frame before. How old was she? Well, 1910. I don't know. I forgot when she was born. 18, 19, whatever. I can't remember either. But anyway, then she married Mr. Fickus. Yes. He was from St. James, Minnesota. He died. And he died, but they had a daughter, Elsie. Yes. And so I don't know how much later she met and married my grandfather, George, and they had four children. So two single parents, because he had two children. He had two children, and El or Grandma had one, and then they had four. Yes. So they had quite a group. Five. Five. Yeah. Who am I missing? Well, Kay, Bud, George. Oh, Grandma, Bud, and, yeah. Bud. I wasn't. Th I forgot Uncle Bud. But anyway. Yes, five. And my mother was uh, second from the oldest. Was she? Oh, yeah. Okay, so then Bud's the grandma. I thought she was no, the No, mother oldest. was the oldest yeah, and the oldest. then Bud. She couldn't wait to get out of the house because it was a depression, of course, and that was a... Oh, sure. They, they, she, through that, it was the depression, and they all learned to be very frugal. Uh, and mother tried to teach us that, but I, I wasn't real We were going to rebel against her, and so you know, there was never more than that much water in the tub, ever. <laughs> yes, she. she How much toilet paper you're using? Too much toilet paper. You, they'd no, she roll. didn't say that. No, well, Maury did. I mean, you'd be, you know. But she did. How much she was very paper careful use. about too much water in the tub. You can take a fine bath with two inches. About anyway, this is not a very good picture of my mother, but I thought I should show you my mama, who I miss every day, every day. She was pretty special to me. And she and I were, lived with my grandparents, her parents, until I was age seven. What I so. think is funny, Mom, is just that the dynamics that we talk about it in historical, that's why I do ancestry. You know, Elsie is his wife's first daughter from another husband. So there's that dynamic. And then she's got two children who are his dead wife's, you know, deceased wife's children. Grandpa, you mean? Yeah. Oh. You know, they have children yes. that they, you know, have to all get along yes, together. Gail. And then they start to have all these other children. And Elsie's just a little snappy girl who wants to wear her nylons and her lipstick. And I can just hear it. I, can I don't just know hear about it. that. Well, I've got the pictures of her all sassy. You know. She is sassy and He didn't cute. want her to wear those nylons and take oh, that lipstick off. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and she wanted to be a millionaire. You know, like, look at how fashionable she is for her for boyfriend. You know, like, at take a fur. picture. Say it. It's fur. fur. Oh. Yes, a fur muff. And a big muffin. Yeah. It's beautiful. And Grandma also ended up, so she had some sort of artistic eye, I'm guessing. And Elsie also painted as years went on. She started painting things, which was lovely. Lois worked in, at Ehlers Department Store in Redwood Falls. Mother, uh, after her husband died in 1969, yes, she went to work in a department store where she worked retail for many years until she retired. She put on her pantyhose and her girdle and her polyester skirt and walked all the way, what is it, half a mile maybe? I suppose. Up to Ehlers. Always and looked. You could never sit because it was, you, yeah, she always looked put together. She always looked nice. Yeah. Always had her earrings. And she Lipstick. was very good at retail. She enjoyed people. She was honest, but she also had an eye, I think, because she could put things together that looked lovely. and. Uh, she, I think she enjoyed it until it got too physically difficult for her. She had to stand stupid. all day, and then they started yeah. opening on Sundays. Yeah, then they she opened on Sundays. Picture. But this, this dress, who bought this dress for Lois? Son, I did. Grandson Christopher bought that for her, and she wore it to Chicago. Well, I wanted to, I wanted to go, I wanted to take her up to the cities, this is way back, and I said, Grandma, we're going to go to Dayton's, and we're going to buy, a, I want to buy you a dress and shoes, an outfit and tried things on and tried things on. I'm like, just try it on, Grandma. And of course, now I know she was a petite. You know, she had been in retail. She knew what but clothes looked good But she was very on. heavy busted. Yeah, she was, she was pretty heavy Huge. busted. And, and great legs, but yeah. And a, a Y shape, probably. Mm -hmm. not, not originally, but. Very narrow shoulders. Okay, it was just all boobs. Yeah, mostly she just boobs. She always stands like this in her pictures. 
Well, in most pictures, you well, it gives you a waist. when you saw her when she was young, she was very thin. Still, she wanted to not. Yeah. She didn't want to stand like that. But she still had boobs. And she wouldn't turn her feet like you turned yours. What, like, I tried to turn her feet. Oh, to uh, uh, more. She was just going to maybe bend a knee. Always That's bend most. a knee. She wasn't going to like stand like this or something no, like you do. No, no. But also, you have hips, and she doesn't, and that makes her upper body bigger. It's best yeah. if she just stands straight straight on. She, she already knew that. She knew that. Before we leave this, uh, I have to tell you, my grandmother visited me in Minneapolis. Uh, I was working not at Dayton's at that time, but I took her to Dayton's for lunch one day. And I also wanted to take her to that little shop right down on the street right next to Dayton's or along that street, 7th Street, I think. If you it live was in just for hats. And are old. Well, and it was just for hats, was and I want Quinlan? what? Young Quinlan? No, no, it was just a little tiny hat oh. shop, and I wanted to buy her a pretty hat because I knew she loved them, and so I find she really tried hard. I don't think she loved it, but she did try hard, and she got I got it for her because it was the least expensive or something. Probably, if she, she well, picked out one she liked it. Yeah, but then we went up to the uh, Dayton's, up to the Sky Room for lunch. Now, my grandmother hated, hated liver because when she was young, she had to eat raw liver to build up her blood. Yeah. What did she order for lunch? Liver iron. and onions. The they didn't have iron pills, so you just ate yeah, liver. Yeah, you ate liver. Liver and onions is what she ate for lunch. Dear sweet grandmother, I loved her. I loved her. This was the 1800s, though. Yeah. Yes, but she... That was an 1800s then. When she had then. to eat liver. Oh, yes, yes. So. But she really picked out liver and onions. Because right? it was the cheapest thing. That she Why didn't was want. that? Oh, you told me this. Yeah, because yeah, mom was going to buy it, and mom, and she didn't want her to spend so much money, so yeah. she ordered the least expensive yeah. thing. Yeah, a dear thing. She, she was really quite saintly. Lois and, liked that dress and those shoes that I bought. Though. Yes, mother did love this dress. I she wore well, it, it a lot. Well, it was equestrian, but it was just a straight sheath that went all the way down. Pro it was probably supposed to go to the knee, but it, she's not petite, so it was long. But it had double buttons all the way down, the sun, which was very slenderizing. Yes. Little earrings. And she put her little earrings on and just her lipstick and a little blush. She didn't wear my eye makeup. She, no, she, only when I would go yeah. visit. Then I do her hair she didn't and want her with makeup. That. Oh, yes. She well, rubs she, her eyes. She, no, she didn't know how to do it, that's why. But when I did it, she really liked it. And my sisters always said, oh, Mother doesn't care about that. Yeah, yeah she really did. She enjoyed but the nice. one thing that she really cared about was having her nails done. Mm -hmm. Her nails were always done. Now because she's heavier busted and attractive pretty earrings and nails draw attention away. That's right. So... She, I, I just know, even when she was in the hospital, I tried to find the right color polish to do her nails, whether she knew it or not. And I hope this inspires some memories of your mothers, grandmothers. Yeah. It's important. We have to remember these things and, and share, share them. them with our children. Christopher is so good at it, and, you know, he keeps videos and all kinds of things that I didn't know how to save that stuff. He does. And... He put a video of my mother in her little porch at her house. One day I had videotaped her and asked a few questions, and she was just talking on and on. It's so she fun knew to look at that. She knew it was posterity, but it was well, nice sure. to take the time. That's what this is, yes. too. I'm like, I'm going to, this will come and go, and you may be interested or not, but I will have this. So that's part of it. And also, I have to mention that my nephew Tim videotaped my mother when it was my, I think, 60th birthday, mm -hmm. and wanted to know about me. And she talked and talked, and one thing she said was that I was always good to her, and I was such a good girl. She knew she was on camera, though. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't have said anything. She wouldn't have said anything, you know. Well. Like, you tried to get her into the stories, but she was not going to say it, like I try to do to you. I'm yeah, like, Just I know tell it. me the story when the camera's not on. I know it. Well, I loved that. And, I, I, of course, I loved Grandma very much and Lois, and not only was it that outfit, but it was bringing her up to the cities and taking her to Marco Island and having her have those experiences that she wouldn't have had. Taking her to the seafood restaurant, and she got a <laughs> whole, she, want, she ordered salmon. They brought a whole you know, salmon. <laughs> And she was she wasn't all she wasn't feeling really well, but suddenly in that situation she was flirting with the waiter and she was just fine. And her nails did always look nice, 
though I did see her in the nursing room, I said, Lois, your nails are so round, because she always kind of made them into made a them point. pointy. I said, and I looked at her, I said, so you don't scratch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and she did, that. she did this, that glare. <laughs> Not only that, he went to pick her up at the nursing home one day. She was sitting in the wheelchair, um, and he said, Grandma, you don't have a bra on. And what did she say? No, I said, Lois, your boobs are on either side of your hips. Oh, is that what you said? And she just said, that's the fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Which was funny, because we always talked about her boobs. You know, she, yeah. she, they were always big, big. The one thing she said, when I die, I'm trusting one of you girls to make sure I have a very good yeah, bra yeah, on. Yeah. Was it, <laughs> and that, she did. I mean, if I had the money then, that was something I was like a breast reduction. It's something yeah. I would have I done for her, because yeah. it, it was just a ban of her existence. It was hard for her. It was right. difficult. Anyway, aside from that, our Mother's Day thing, oh, I was going to mention this. Oh, yes. You may be wondering why I have this pin on. And some of you remember Betty Darrell, who was my dance instructor, who I did some live streams with uh, a few years ago. She was 91 at the time when I met her, so 93, and she ended up recently going to a memory care, maybe six months ago, going to memory care, which was not her. She was quite quick, and, and I couldn't really communicate with her. And Robert and I did a, a live stream with her one night, and you could, she was just talking, talk, I, the live stream amazing I did her, story. the first time I did the live stream, she was amazing and everyone wanted to know. She was on stage with, um, Frank Sinatra, and you know, she, she was a tap dancer and a hooper, and her parents were in vaudeville, and all these great stories. And um, and the next time, so I, we made a live stream again, and she was just wouldn't stop, couldn't listen. So I, I was kind of helpless. I just shut off the live stream, and then after that, I said I can't call back. Well, that's what she was went into memory care. Well, long story short, she was just not eating well. Once she was in memory care, then her memory came back, and she was fine. And she was 93, I think now, right? And um, so I, I knew that information. I didn't want to call her yet, but I wrote her a long letter. And then I got the, that she had just died. Yeah. Which was, Sunday. yeah, it was like cardiac we, arrest. We spoke she was, about her on She was one ready of to go streams. back home and, you know, all that stuff, and then died. But after that, I just, I got this little thing. Sent by Betty. Before Sent by Betty before she passed. You can read it. And this is what it says, guardian angel. You have a guardian angel who, who watches over you everywhere you go and everything you do. This gentle, silent helper is there to be your guide, to shelter and protect you, and for you to walk beside. Your angel will always help you whenever things go wrong. They'll be the wings beneath your feet as a life's path you walk along. Which I thought was strange. I'm like, why that? So, so Betty, I guess if you're going to be my guardian angel, I don't think silent was, <laughs> was your... So knock something off a wall. And of course, we, uh, Michelle and I have always said, and I think Dad said too, you know, Christopher has an angel sitting on his shoulder. Always we said that through th all the things you went through and the things you did and the things you accomplished, Chris, or we always said, well, it's Christopher's angel on his shoulder. So it was really interesting that this was maybe sent that's, to him. Maybe that's, maybe that's it. I don't know. Maybe that's it. What's this? That's your guardian angel? No, this is uh, a pin. Well, I don't Mary know gave it to you. No. My co-worker at Dayton's, Marshall Fields, gave it to me when I retired. He said it reminded him of me. Oh. He had an antique store. John. John Carrison. Is that the guy that... Did he have seizures? No. No, no, that was him. No, John it had... It looks like it. an 80s shoulder pad. Yeah, and hat tipped and so okay. forth. Okay. And I like it, so I usually wear it here. But that was very sweet of him and to give that to me. And she has fuller hips, she wears her accessories up at the outer shoulder because that draws the eye away from the hips. Exactly. If you have wider shoulders and a fuller bust, you would wear your accessories closer in. And I never wear anything chips. on a lapel. It's always up, so the yeah. eye will go up and out to give me a little more shoulder. Yeah. And for those who have Were you very... Were pick those flowers, Rob? For those very... Do that. For those who have very uh, broad shoulders, you'll wear your accessories in here closer. 
you don't need to draw the attention and Kayla out. Kayla is just tiny, but she's still broad shoulder. Yeah. And our makeover today, you did the silhouette, right? Yes. Uh, what's her name? Faith. Faith. Very. Broad, broad sloping. Little tiny legs. Yes. Really little. So Felt I'll a show little you like I Susan. Yeah. But she has more Your, your tummy. sister. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I'm not, and she's got lots of issues. Like, uh, she fell 16 feet on concrete. Yeah, she's, she's, got, she's crushed, got crushed. She's got a crush. Yeah. Vertebrae. Vertebrae. But I thought, of course, it maybe would be some submission. Oh, look at this mother. What? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. I couldn't get you a corsage, but I thought this might be nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Put, can we put it here? Well, no. Well, we'll put it behind us. Rob, mom, it's huge. It's huge. And heavy. Oh. Happy Mother's Day. Oh. I'm such a nice. Thank ass. you. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. What'd mm, you get your mom for Mother's Day? They smell good. Four dozen roses that I picked up myself and put it in my own arrangement. <gasps> yeah. Did you do it yourself? Yeah, I did. So it fell in the car, so it's not... Oh, it did? Yeah, I tried. It's good, Rob. Oh, it's, it's fine, beautiful. Rob. It's beautiful. You did a good job. He has Isn't that a pretty? very good eye. There's four eye. different brands. That's gorgeous. And, um... So you'll have to... I don't know how you're going to get it home, but we can cut it. I can re we can put them into something smaller. I like smells that. smells good. Isn't that pretty? I know. I mean, yes. even, it'll be fill up your whole living room. I know, but I, oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. And I can sit and smell it all by myself because Don isn't nice. home today. I don't know how big they're supposed to get, but they, I they think don't get real big. These probably. yellow ones oh, they think might. are supposed to get pretty big. They it? might. This is gorgeous. I know. Is that peach? And then there's this kind of peach? And then there's one that's in between. I don't know what to expect. Well, just in case you forgot, it's Mother's Day this yes. weekend. Better get out there. Oh, I got you something else. Did you bring the clothes in the car? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, okay, there's a polka oh. dot blouse. I'll get it. Just oh. grab that. Well, I, you know, I'm well, shopping for these women, so the woman today who is a petite, another petite, 5'1", five, one, probably. Five, five, one. Very nice five, gal. 5'1". Five, you know, yeah. they say they're 5'2", and they always say they're taller, and they come in there, and they think, I don't wear petites. I'm like, yeah, she petite. Like she's one, very, four. well, she's very short-waisted. Short waisted. is petite. It's not how little you are. It's but it's short-waisted is yeah. the biggest thing, and she has, she is short-waisted. Like her little body like looks pretty yeah. nice yes on top of these little legs yes so it's like if that was you know so i, I pulled some things we'll see what works okay, i got for water, her? i've got fuller leg slacks and i did okay. get a full skirt and i thought if we can do the corset maybe that'll work pretty i think some pretty things we'll see because i couldn't we'll see. see her and i only had her measurements to go from and so that's what i have to do when we're figuring out an outfit for someone's after and well, no, they don't get to keep the clothes they can buy them if they want i just yeah, have one day. One what day. yeah just one day yeah. Look, figure it out. Like right now, when we're done with this, I'll have her try. Once her hair color's done, I will have her try. She out. also brought uh, one of the dresses for her daughter's wedding. Okay. What do you think? I haven't seen it yet. What about? We haven't looked at did that. Did you look at her bras? She, she, well, that's a whole other yeah, story. I, 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 uh, yeah. She went to Nordstrom and was fitted for a bra. She didn't want an un underwire, and so. She got four of them. I don't think. None of them have an underwire. No. I don't know. Because she doesn't know. Well, but she thinks it's the hurt. fitter should know. The fitter should have known. Well, but so the they fact don't do what they need to do. Not exactly. Right. It's, I know it's you know, but it's exactly very comfortable. Needs. It's not what I'm looking for for I her. I know, but that's what she that's wants. That's good for her for real life. This is for her makeover. I know, honey. And so I explained to them, oh, you don't wear a heel? Can you wear a little heel just to walk out and back? Because this is we want to. I didn't put it in a box. Uh, what? I love it. I know. I love it. <gasps> Nice. So explain to those folks out there who think dots and rounds. Well, rounds round are supposed to add pause, but little polka dots like that is a pattern. I don't know if it'll be too big, but I don't think so for the around the tummy. Because you can do off the shoulder with it. Cute. Yeah. Oh, it'll be cute. What size is it? XXL. Oh, that'll be fine. XXL petite. I love it. Some woman couldn't wear, believe you were. If your what mom wears a one X, I'll eat my hat. I'm like. Well. I do, and and most of my shirts and blouses, I like them large. But the thing that most women if you didn't don't. Have a tummy, you would be, you would yes, be I'd be fine if I had a waist, but that disappeared. My hips went up to my waist. It looks looks huge here, but it'd be cute off the shoulder. Yeah, it'll be cute. I love Bronzer. it. I love it. Um, I in was the day just you could have taken something. your 18 inch, or your red belt, it cinched it in at your waist, but right. I that still have the red belt. Well, skirt. not that belt. But oh, this is cute. I yeah, hope it's see, bright white because I got some pants that would be real well, cute. Pretty white, white next to that. Yeah. You yeah, black that's white. good. Okay. You did find some white pants? No, I didn't. I oh, haven't yet. Okay. But I will. 
but I was going to say something else, but of course I don't remember uh, now because uh, off we were the shoulder to... polka dots. No, Daisy uh, prints. No, round heads pounds. <sighs> Moment of silence. <laughs> Bodacious tatas. Well, Bodacious tatas. How, how are you going to wear a strapless bra with that? That's the other thing. It's like you can. Why not? We were talking about her bra. I know what bra she needs. Oh. And I know it's like the what hole, the, the retrofit, because she's so round and big on top. She needs a, a pointy. She's not as big as you think. I think she needs more smush here. Yeah. 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 And and but not like. Well, so many women when they come Oprah in boobs. are she so need Oprah boobs. they're so concerned about showing too much boob or too much cleavage. Well, cleavage I understand depending on the situation, but boobs are a good thing, as I've said before. The more projection you have here, the better things are going to fit, and the lot less you'll notice what's under but here. That's her, that's her big thing, is that she's yeah. got a tummy, yes. she's all little, and, we and it's talked all, about like that. this. It'll so be if cute. the bust comes out, then something can fall. Yes. But I, well, we'll see. I'll show you what I picked yeah. out. Okay. And I found some cute things. We'll look at that. And yeah, if I had him here, I'd show you. But I think we're ready to wrap it up. What time is it? I think so. Okay. So, say goodbye and wish everyone a wish, happy Mother's Day. I have Hopefully so many tips. surrogate mothers, so many lovely mothers in my life. Not my real mother, of course, but these are so many women that have touched my life. I lived with my aunt and uncle from all through high last three years of high, oh, high yeah. school. And she just turned 95 and coming to my house for lunch on Monday. So, so Dee's so, going to be at your house? Yes. And, and she's okay? She, she, yeah. Pretty good? She, and yeah. She forgets now and then, but so do I. So I don't know. Oh, at 95, sure. maybe I won't remember anything. I don't know. Well, that'll be an interesting conversation. Well, just to, just to, you'll be, if you'll be I'll 95, come, I'm fine. Just, oh, yeah, really. I'm not for lunch. Anyway, sure. remember. Remember your mothers, your grandmothers, and all the mothers who have touched your life in a special way. Even men who are back. Yes. Well, thank you. There's, there's, there are oh, fathers who are like mother figures. That's what Kayla is saying, and I wonder who she might refer well, be referring to. Yeah, the I would say that out. Christopher and Robert. Well, I don't know how many women tell her how to. What? We can celebrate both. How many bought her 50 bras and told her which one looks good and which one she liked? <laughs> <laughs> that, would be that one's good. No, no, no. What, Kayla? It really makes a difference when you find the right. Yes. Thing. The right bra, it does yeah. make a huge difference. That one's good, what have you got on now? This is one of the older ones. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. She's We're not too modest trying to get around her, so we them check is another it thing. all. It's like lingerie, just put in the laundry. No, she puts them in the washing dryer. Well, it, there are bags, favorite. lingerie bags you should throw I got her in lingerie there. bags. Okay. You have them. Okay, that's a good thing. Be so you, you know, think I can't especially to if you dry father. them, it's t really hard on They're them expensive. to dry. I know. I told her told her. Well, now you understand. Some children just do not listen well. <laughs> we listen. We, we listen. You just don't do it. Well, this not a, one Christopher's original. one of those that if you tell him he shouldn't do it, he'll be sure to do yeah, it. that's true. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Thank you for joining well, happy us. Happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you, Enjoy honey. Your father. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. I hope you get flowers. Oh, they are pretty. gorgeous. Are